Tom Tool. Beasts Untrue, a poem for the white man, my old plug. This isn't fate or a slow moving train. This is bully pulpit number destiny, with the hands of time tied to big bars. Step in my car, bring the goods, let me see the clock. This money is just a number, it's broken bones in a splint. Yeah, I parked the car, got out and checked the time. Can't be late to this situation that's on my mind. Meeting with the faculty to count this chicken. All I really wanted was a portion. I hope there's nothing missing. Round table discussion, the town, that's the coordinates. Apartments built like a fortress. I hope there's not a shortage. What's next? Got my little portion. I'm thinking, where's the rest? This is not what I planned, and I am not impressed. Bet that. Play me once, I bet that won't happen twice. Fucking with this money, you play with life. Bitch, don't roll the dice. What's next? I'm walking back to the car as I ponder About this sort of just grill I can't take it much longer Talk to him. You don't decide We are bashed You don't just fall We are all born screaming If you do time on your head Your heart will hit the dirt Chaos is the force That twists us Like two birds in a wire Send me swimming so far out at night Stop this scene Stop this life. Start the car and start to think how could I infiltrate? Gotta think calculated. I ain't trying to get set up stay. No, but they took food off my plate. Moods full of hate. Should've never moved with these snakes. Smooth on the break. Sitting at the red light. Wait for a couple days. I'll let you feel my rage. They gon' feel my plight. They like catch them at sun up, seven o'clock. Park the car around the block, then I walk to the spot. Walked around to the patio, let that 40 blast Through the glass, shot the pit bull, didn't stand a chance I heard, come and get the static if you please I turned around, seen him across the hall, he shot me in my knees ah. Laid out flat, them bullets burn Now my family got a choice, should it be casket or urn? We never learn We never learn Talk to him Toxic calls on toxic lines We sell toxic cups of wine this ain't the life it ain't the time this is just god's unholy vine it's a humorless fucking joke What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? You stop this music from playing in my ear. What's going on, my good people? Welcome to a special edition of Grown Folk Talk. It's Friday edition. Yeah, y'all know what it is, man. Y'all had all week to get together, get your get your time from your job, put the kids to bed, because we got two legendary. People in my eyes, they legendary in my eyes. This day night, you know what I'm saying? YJ the author, aka Arthur James, and Miss Nikki New, aka Professor Cupcake. We got them in the building, people. Y'all know what it is, man. I'm sipping brown with my bro. I normally sip a little white, but my bro in the building, so I'm sipping brown with. Got my little short ball glass and all. You feel me? But I want to thank everybody for tuning in, man. Make sure you like, share it. Well, if you're if you're in here, you're a subscriber. Well, if you're talking anyway, you feel me? But uh, let me holler at my people before we even get started. Put your can in the building. Say turn up. You know, I'm already turned up. Shout out to... The lion is in the building. Peace and blessings. Triple C is what's happening. It's good. Corey in the building. Probably somewhere else, too. Ain't no telling. Corey be all over there on YouTube. Nico. B. Nico be in the building. That was my special guest last week. I definitely enjoyed that interview. I'm glad uh, she graced us with her beautiful presence. She's celebrating. Matter of fact, tell mommy happy birthday. I think it's her birthday, right? 
Tell her to say happy birthday. Yeah. Uncle Charles in the building. Day one, A1 in the building. What's happening? Yeah. Those are the people that spoke so far. The rest of them, I mean, in the bushes, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna play another jam before we even kick these things off, man. Matter of fact, let's let's do this little promo video first, and then we'll play a jam. All right, y'all sit tight. Y'all don't go nowhere. Y'all know what it is, man. The time is ticking, the time is up. That's all I know, that's all I know. I stay on go, that's just all I know, all I know. That's just all I know. This shit is a thriller, six niggas, and you gotta figure out who's the killer. Terrorizing, how I'm fighting, spectacular, terrific, the killer. Who is it? Black Shack the Mafia. It's b Shack Mafia, you know it's torture. I treat the cypher like a half lit swisher. I'm about to smoke a portion. Yeah, so what you call it then? Cracked open the seal on this mafia shit for the third installment. BM, let's get it. The Mafia, we run them all. Spitting cool. Demanding, but through my highs and lows, you still hear standing. I'm fucked. Now, what I'm gonna do with you? Yeah. What I'm gonna do with you, you, you? Listen, when I touch down, it's a round of applause that plays off in my head. I'm feeling like this, my thing. Music pulling up on the scene. Cooling, this is not a dream, but it feel like I'm floating now. And this should be my thing. Music, time to put it in motion now. Come on. Black Shack the Mafia. Nicky New. What you in the chat for, Nicky New? <laughs> you posted me up here. <laughs> we gonna play another jam. We waiting on you, Nicky New. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now look, I'm trying to balance out this vision while I still can. Stuck in this jam, trying to expand throughout this bullshit. I still stand, man, and that's just the way that it goes sometimes. Some people don't want to see no one shine. And that's a shame, but that's what it do. Sad, but it's true. I put no stack in that, which is fraudulent. And I got a knack for the truth. Back to the boost, now let me reposition. Uh-uh, all right. And I figured it's time to get this shit in order. Let's get it right, right, right. All I hear is bad news from the news reporters. Why, why, why? In this world, I see phases constantly changing. Lost in this maze and exhausted. It's making me face the equation. It's life on occasion. It's like one big rotation. Stuck in flight and I can't quit. Not at all. These words been on my chest. I'm glad I got it off one time for the purpose when I talk. Let me get this off. Uh. Right out. Right out. Me too. I got them worked until my hands callous. I got a love and hate relationship with this city. I can't stand Dallas. Nah, let me not say that. On this road, I done seen more wheels going circled in Pat Sajak. I wonder, what? will they play that when? Once I lay flat, go open the archive. That's my vault. Where the safe at? Yeah. Don't put me six feet, put my body in ashes. I couldn't imagine being stuck in the casket. They thought I was writing bars. Nah, this is my will. In the Arthur James project, I'll let you know how I feel. In the true form, value one, that let you know that it's real. So don't ever mistake a bar for something solid and still. That's real. Talk to him. 
And lately I ain't just been motivated, I still got the passion that ain't never changed. Broken and shaking, now I just look at things a little different. What's the end game? What's the use of spitting gas if they don't hear the shit flame? I used to care less, now I think a lot though. Built this foundation, now I'm undecided on the top floor. Just trying to reconsider the architecture. I take my pen and pad and walk to the podium so I can start the lecture. Shh, nah, let me digress. I could have been anywhere but here right now. Huh? So I feel like I'm blessed. This all finesse. Huh? This is all a punch in. They told me if you don't try hard enough in the end, then you might be reluctant. Spoken word before I meet the end. Try to formulate this plot. I can't stop when I sink or swim. swim. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah, yeah. Ride out. Ride out. Ride out. Ride Yeah, that was the homie Why Jizzle, aka Arthur James, man. Arthur James Project, man. If y'all haven't heard that project, then you probably ain't new to this family or you just don't support our music. <laughs> Cause that that project dope as hell, man. Everything that's attached to YJ name is dope as hell. And that ain't no cap, that ain't me no yes, man. Cause I will tell you if your music is trash. You feel me? Your fear is what I'm saying. So, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and bring on I guess we got the homie of Arthur James, the professor, Nikki New in the building. Welcome, welcome, everybody. It's good with it, it's good with it. Hi. The path I chose is a paved road. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nikki knew. You ain't no. <laughs> I, I right. thought you was gonna be the first one up here. That very hard. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, it's all good. But welcome. I appreciate y'all for gracing the panel and doing this interview with me. It, it's definitely something I want to do. I know uh Speaking with YJ, you know, this ain't YJ thing, but hey, he came up here because he's a team player. And look yeah. at him, he knew. Yeah. Look at her. Looking like she could be from the Brady Bunch. <laughs> Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I'm just joking. I'm joking. Okay. That's a joke. <laughs> so, um, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm chilling, man. Chilling, man. Sitting up here sipping, you know, Friday night. You know. What are you sipping? A little Jack and Red Bull right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just packing all the time to move, and you know, it's, I'm getting overwhelmed by it. I just want to be gone. I just want to be in a new place. So it's going to be a good thing. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and get to the business. I know a lot of people got some questions, but I got mine first. So my okay. first question is. Um, you know, I always start with the ladies first, but this is a question either one of you can answer. But when and how in the hell did y'all to me? This is, I just got to know that. Go ahead. You okay. Ahead. So but, um, basically over at what, what was Tripsy, well, what was um, Tripsy's old channel? And I don't think we actually knew that we knew one another because we went by different names over there. Um, so I think actually we've been interacting for like several years. We just didn't know it. And I posted on DJ Vibes channel. I was like, um, does anyone make beats? And and he was like, I do. Oh, Facebook. Uh, right, over on the uh, DJ Vibes home team Facebook group. So he said, I do. And then he and I just started communicating about beats and other things. And that's what it was. But it was funny because, you know, I, I think we'd actually known each other 
for like a couple of years, right? We just didn't know it. Yeah, so sort of, kind of. Yeah, so that's kind of how it started, and um, um, at one point, like he asked me, you know, do you do you have a poem or anything like that that he could use? Um, and I sent him the poem that um, he used for the situation. And I'm not actually a poetry writer. I'm a long form writer, you know, whether it's um, essays or, you know, a book, which will come out this year. Um, but I'm a long form writer. But I had been listening to this video where this lady said, you know, if you get overwhelmed when you're writing, um, just stop for a minute and like write a poem. So I was overwhelmed in this project that I was working on. And I just stopped for like three minutes and wrote that poem. And I think I revised it like once or twice. And I sent it to him and that's, he, he created the situation. Mm. And I was shocked. <clears throat> so, so YJ, when, when you actually, you know, spoke with her, actually seeing her asking for beats, what was the first thing that came to your head? Like, what's she, what's she asking for beats for? Like, yeah, you know. <laughs> It is, you know, it's for, I guess it's for a channel, background music or whatever. But, you know, if I see something like that, I'm, I'm going to jump on it. So and that's basically uh, that situation. Like she said, that was the first one. And, uh, yeah, it was like a, it was a, it was one long file, basically. And, that, and this is how I do mostly all the tracks. It's one long file and I snip the parts up and, and write to them after I place the file. So it's a poem that was chopped up and timed out to where it gave me time, gave her time, and then just filled in the blanks type of thing. Yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. We definitely know anybody who know you, um, whether they know you personally or from YouTube, man, you know, anything you, you do, man, you, you put love and care in all your work. And that's one thing I've learned about you. It ain't going out if it ain't dope. So when uh, y'all was working on this project, I was like, I can't wait to hear this shit. But uh, that's a great segue into my next question. I guess I'll start with you, Roger. You can answer this one. Who yeah. idea was it uh, for you guys to actually start working on this particular project, man? I'm going to get that to her. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, I ain't know nothing about uh, Buddhism or, or any any of the such. So she kind of put me up on that, sent me the, the Dhammapada, which this project is based off of, and it's actually using ex excerpts from the, the Dhammapada inside the music. So what you'll hear, whenever you're hearing a Dhammapada project piece, you'll hear uh, an excerpt, and then you'll hear my... Uh, my, <laughs> my Yo, my, dope-ass lyrics, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you'll hear my uh, explanation of what I just heard. Basically, I, right. I will take a piece of the excerpt and then I will find the beat, place it on the beat. And then after that, whatever said, I'll try to, you know, put it in rhyme form and make it something that people can vibe to, you know. So yeah, she did a good job. It's definitely her, uh, def definitely was her idea. And I was, I was, uh, all ears when she she told me just because it's something different, something I ain't never did before. So, no, no. So, so Nikki, like when you presented this idea to him, did you see it actually turning out to be something like this? No, because you know when uh, we started communicating, I went to his channel, and I I basically digested all the music that he had on there. And, literally, um, literally, I hate to cut you off, but literally, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I yes, absolutely. I know YJ's catalog better than YJ knows his catalog. Right. <laughs> that that is that is that is a fact. Um, but so I just what I like what I heard was this person, you know, who was really, really super introspective and um very erudite too. You know, he's very well, I you know, YJ's probably gonna win the Pulitzer. He has a better chance of winning the Pulitzer than I do, um, but I just and and um, like as we were communicating, I realized that um, you know we just we kind of have like similar way of looking at looking at a lot of things, um, you know. And uh, he was, you know, we both were kind of raised religiously, but it didn't turn out 
to be where we put, ended up being positioned. Um, and when he wrote, you know, the situation, uh, I didn't really tell him much about what that poem was pertaining to. And he ended up writing a lot about what the poem was actually. Uh, yeah. You know what, it, what it stemmed from. So like after, after he wrote that, I was just sitting around reading the Dhammapada one day. I mean, I've read it many times before. It was just on my couch. Oh, I remember because um, I sent a copy of it to my friend who was in prison. So I was got my um, copy out to read it again. And as I was reading it, I was like, hmm, I wonder what he could do with this. Like, I didn't really have any idea of what it could be at all. So I told him about it on the phone. And I was like, I'll get you a copy of it. So he sat down, you know, whenever. And he read it and um, he said, you know, yeah, just record the, like the first chapter and I'll see what I can do with it. And like when he sent it back to me, I was like, this is crazy. And um, so I think that's the point at which I kind of envisioned that um, it, it could be a, a book on tape, you know, because obviously I'm going to read the whole Dhammapada. But then I realized it could be this... Um, this whole other project because of the way he approached the writing process to the whole thing. So yeah, right now I think there are, are there 11 chapters? Is that how many we have? Yeah, it's 11. Yeah. And in the end there will probably be 25 or 26. So, so we can expect another project. Yeah. It'll be a double plus album is what it will be. And that's what I thought it was actually going to be when y'all dropped it. I was like, did they finish this? And then no. I realized it was, it, it was what 10 tracks. So I was like, well, I, I got yeah. something to look forward to. Yeah. yeah. And actually, if you get it on Bandcamp, it's 11. Because when I was doing the Distro Kid, I had to re-upload and do all this whole <laughs> other shit. And then I, I forgot one of the tracks. So, yeah, that's just, you know, uh, FYI, if you if you get it on Bandcamp, it's going to be an extra track on there. So, yeah, I'm yeah. definitely going to cop that up uh, because you definitely support me all the time. I don't give a damn if it's free. I'm buying it. Yeah, my brother always support me, and I, and I appreciate that. So we're going to go into a song break, but before we do that, I got a question for you, Nikki. I want you to explain the two names. You know, they know they wonder why I be calling you a different name from what <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they call it. So explain that to them. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm not somebody who uh, likes to be very super visible. I just because of like my activism, things like that. Like the internet for women is a whole different thing than it is for men. It's a different beast. So I just kind of went by Professor Cupcake because I mean, I am a retired professor, but I didn't want to be um, you know, snotty about the whole thing. And, and I like making cupcakes. <laughs> so I said, okay, that sounds good. You know what I mean? That sounds like I don't take myself too seriously. And it really caught on. I was like, okay, people like call me cupcake. And um, and then uh, Anna Nikki knew. A Anna is an abbreviated form of kind of like my Buddhist name. And so Anna's just easy. And then Nikki, my, you know, that's a part of my actual legal government name. It's an abbreviation of that. And new just means girl. So, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted a a pen name um okay. i didn't want to publish things under my actual government name gotcha i understand that and i respect that <clears throat> so we're gonna play the intro and i i forgot how dope the intro was because i played um thought so goddamn much so we're gonna play this <laughs> go ahead bro and actually this one uh this first one because the it, this first one it's kind of chronologically ordered when it comes to what how it's placed on it so this one is actually recorded almost two years ago i think the intro yeah man the intro so hard i, I was listening to it earlier today and like damn well that intro go hard as fuck too so uh let's check it out let's let the people check it out if you ain't hear uh platinum nevada project the double part of man i excuse you after this live to go take care of your goddamn business whether you run it up on goddamn spotify youtube apple music i done dropped the apple uh music linking up man go run the numbers up man it's dope music i ain't asking you to support i'm asking you to treat yourself to a nice album you dig 
Let's get into it, man. Hey, y'all know what it is over here, man. I ain't playing with them. All that we are is the result of what we have thought. It is founded on our thoughts. It is made up of our thoughts. If a man speaks or acts with an evil thought, pain follows him. As the wheel follows the foot of the ox that draws the carriage. Yeah, imagine waking up inside a casket. Gas for a breath of air, I know it's tragic. That's the feeling once life feeds you a dose of karma. Once the cover's not enough, you gon' need under armor. Word the Dharma, seeking out for social order. Almost there, but got derailed and held up at the border. Huh. Couldn't make it through the precepts, bugging. I messed around and hit the eject button. I wasn't ready. Imagine that, not enough willpower. A battle with myself head to head, but I still coward. The real feel this, and I don't care who against that. Real feel this, and I don't care who against that. Yeah. It is founded on our thoughts. It is made up of our thoughts. If a man speaks or acts with a pure thought, happiness follows him like a shadow that never leaves him. Yeah, only time that it leaves is when the rain's pouring. Send me back to where I was set, brainstorming. Evil doors walk their trail, thousand tears and counting. Walk the righteous path, the steady streams of honest fountain. Dharma, open eyes, don't always see disguises. Felt surrounded like an island, nothing but silence. Battle with myself, I'm back and forth weaving Self-awareness and all fairness without a rhyme or reason Yeah, I painted the image that my heart crafted Wishing the good times could have lasted Then I got stuck in traffic Harbored the hatred in my heart and I had to let it cease Opened up my eyes and let my vision greet the masterpiece All I want is what? Peace Peace I talk to him, speak, speak For hatred does not cease by hatred at any time Hatred ceases by love. This is an old rule. Yeah, who you are is just the result of every thought that lingers. Cause and effects, thoughts of happiness promote demeanor. Chapter one, salute to Nikki New, the professor. Writing when I surfaced, I'm a part of verses in my letters. Solid purpose, anything else will make me seem blind. This knowledge will last a lifetime, cause the goal to have a serene mind. So gain wisdom and don't be afraid to change the system. Chapter one is the solution off the chain with this one. This one. Too goddamn fast for me. That damn commercial <laughs> jumped in too goddamn fast. <laughs> but yeah, that 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 song right there, man. I just want to uh, stop and ask a question, which I get it. What you said, YJ, but it was so dope, man, and it needs to be said because everybody talk about that third eye or their eyes are open. And that's track you said. Open eyes don't always. You said open eyes don't always see disguises. Talk to her. T- tell them. Tell them what you mean about that, man. I know, but I want you to tell the folks, man. Uh I guess on that, man, it's just it, it's kind of self-explanatory. But it's like, yeah, you 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 know, you could be as woke as you can be, but uh, you might not always see exactly what you need to see when it comes down to time for you to be mm-hmm. seeing some shit, you know. And I know that's probably not a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's not a uh uh a type of some shit some Martha would say, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just the simple way in layman's terms, that's what it boiled down to. So that's it. Nah, yeah. It's real, but you know, everybody say, Wake up, people, wake up, black people, wake up. Like, I mean, okay, I'm woke. I've been woke for a long they time. They say what wake up and you getting woke up by the motherfucker <laughs> woke you up. You he leading you right down the motherfucking snake pit. So it's <laughs> real shit, man. 
Real shit. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, Nick, you know, we actually was with you right now, sitting down having a cup of tea or something. <laughs> what would be in your tape deck right now or in your CD player? What would you be listening to right now? What would you listen to? Uh, what would I be listening to right now? Okay, like let me think what I've been listening to. <laughs> let me let me guess. <laughs> what? Guess. Okay. Uh she gonna say uh something off Eminem recovery or uh hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's to be at nah, no, I'm just I'm just playing. Go ahead. I'm just oh, I'm okay, go ahead. No, uh, okay, so um well, I mean, honestly, over the last couple of months, I've listened to tons of Boss Man, right? Because um, I, yeah. I re-listened to newest album um, earlier in the week. Um, wow. Yeah. Who else have I been listening to? Um, ooh, that's hard. You know, I just kind of sometimes end up on a shuffle. Oh, oh, Ace B. Ace B. <laughs> okay, Ace B. Been listening to a lot of Ace B. Um, I, but I was re listening to some NF, especially a song called Paralyzed. Right. Um, basically, what I've been listening to a lot lately are people who I think that I would write similar to. And so I've been um, listening to. Um, like the speed with which they present things or how close the phrasing is to actual rhyming, you know. So I've been trying to listen to a lot of people that are outside of rhyming structures because it seems to me to make more sense to me. Um, I really listen to, um, let's see, I, w- I was listening to Jada Kiss the other day. Um, Kiss death. Yeah, I, I like him a lot. Um, just, yeah, just just kind of like general. I haven't been on a tear with anybody lately. Mm, okay. No. And there's been some new music that's been put out lately. I'm just kind of not into it. I can dig it. That, that, I got yeah. a question that's going to relate to that soon. So, uh, Jizzle, tell the people, how long have you been doing music, man? Uh, since uh, I, I only consider doing music as the time period where I was digitally recording music. So I go with the age 14, all that before Ooh. tape decks, answer machines and shit. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't count all that shit. That shit, you know, everybody do that shit. I'm talking about doing actual, doing hooks and moving, placing, copy and paste. So yeah, that I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go with 14. Hey man, I felt like you just took a shot at me by now. <laughs> <laughs> Because you know, <laughs> you know, you put that tape on that cassette deck and, and pop that sucker in, though. Know, put that push them two buttons that record with that play for on real. It. for real, for real. I know all about it, but I'm from the old school, yeah. So, uh, Nikki was just talking about you know, you know, music that you know is kind of trash, but and I don't want to lead you into feeling like I'm feeling YJ, but this question is directed to both of you. What's your take right now? What's your feelings on the state of hip hop right now, man? Uh, first off, I'm going to answer the question you just asked her with the shit I'm bumping right now. And I'm going to go okay. with, uh, I, I'm on some Black Thought right now. I'm on some uh, Bodie James uh, from Griselda Records. I'm on some Royce the Five Nine right now. Uh, oh, 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 pause, 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 pause. By, pause hey, on. by the pause way, on. Royce the Five Nine is harder than Kendrick Lamar. Let me just throw that in there. No, uh, okay, that, that's an opinion. Uh, yeah. Hold on, now. hey, you know this. This is weird to hear you just name off all these damn artists that you listen to. Now, I'm not saying I never thought you listened to other artists, but uh, I know yeah. YJ as uh, that dude. Man, fuck, nigga, man. I'm proud, dope, nigga. Yeah, 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 the pride, the pride. <laughs> so that. If you listen to these artists, you really fucking like these guys. I'm assuming. Well, yeah, it's, it's something. It's something they got something that I see that other people ain't got type of thing. But mm. 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 <laughs> you say it's something what? being said. It's something being said that ain't no that people ain't saying, or it's a, a, a cadence or a delivery that I'm not hearing nobody else do. 
Okay. Or even a feel. Because a lot of times it just boils down to the feel. And that's why I think people like artists like Kodak Black. Because you're not you're never going to like Kodak Black for his lyrics. But if it's a feel that he's given that you don't get from other people, then you're going you're gonna to ride to it. So. Well, you know, I was going to say something, but I, I think it wouldn't, be in, it wouldn't be appropriate in the <laughs> era to say how I feel about that dude, but we're going to let that ride. But what you, you oh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Now, what was your original question, though? Because I kind of veered off on that one. Uh, the state, the, your, uh, the state of oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it is what it is. It's 2022. We in 2022, so I wouldn't expect anything less than what we got here right now, to tell you the truth. It's, it's just, it, like I said, it's, it's, it is what it is. And that's that's what it's going to be. And it's going to either go up or go down some more. <laughs> so we, now you, hold on, hold on. You just said you, you don't expect nothing less than what it is right now. Like, of course. Because the state, yeah, go ahead. Let me see. No, no, no. I'm just saying like from where, from hip, where hip hop came from. Right. You expect it to be at this point right now? Cause I mean, look at where we at. It's, it's like it's a, it's, it's imitating the the life. It's it's like that's that's where we at. As a people, you gonna get a reflection of where 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 we at when it comes to the music, to a certain extent. Hmm. And, that, and I mean, <clears throat> you listen just the way that people talk, just the way that we talk as, as people, like just the way that we present the art that we doing like if you go uh 20 years ago people that was claiming georgia didn't rap how they rap now people who claim florida didn't rap how they rap now it's a whole different change of like like how people even communicate so of course that's going to translate to the music so you, you say mumble rap or you say um you can't understand what he's saying well shit uh, can you hear? Can you under? You probably can't even understand what he's saying when he's talking to you face to face nowadays. Because the way, the way that <laughs> slang has changed, and the way that the, especially in the South, that Southern draw how how it's taken over and how like what it is now, it's like yeah, that's just gonna translate over into the music. So that's why I said I, I couldn't really, I can't really expect nothing different. Uh, I don't think what call that. Black do the slang. I think it's drugs. But anyway, uh, Nikki, what's your state? What's your mind on the state of hip hop right, right now? Well, I was re-listening to both of the Most Def albums, Black on Both Sides, and True Magic uh, last week, and I can't remember which one of the albums uh, it starts with. But he has a, he he has a song where like he addresses that issue, and he says, you know, people talk uh, people talk about how hip about hip hop, like it's somebody living out in some forest somewhere. And, you know, people are always asking me, how's hip hop doing? And if we're, and he basically says, if we're doing good, <laughs> hip hop is going to be doing good. And if we're not good, then hip hop's not going to be doing good. Now, um, you know, if you look about, if you look at the general age at, that people are starting to make music now, because of what's accessible to them, you know, um, it's so easy to produce yourself now, right? right? And and you can get online and you can platform yourself. Right, right. So a lot of people are, you know, creating music um, probably before they're artistically solid, maybe. Oh, and yeah. and also, um, you know, the younger generation they they come from the social media age, right? where everything is like in these instant clips, right? So, um, so, so the, their idea of like what life is like is more magnified than what it would have been when we were younger. You know, when we were younger, we would watch videos or we would like see certain things in our environment or on the news or whatever. Right. And now with social media, it's just like bam, 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 constantly. You know, there's an enormous amount of drug use in this country. I mean... It's wild. It's it's really out there, and uh, you hear that like you know in 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 certain vibes of the music. But I mean, I just think like as an artist, you know what I mean. That you know, like I'm not here to pass judgment because I don't know about it that well to do that. But um, you know, as a as an English professor and as a writer, 
I can see how language is changing. Mm. I mean, language is really, 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 really changing. Um, it's becoming less expansive than it was before. And so, you know, when you talk about like mumble rapping or the way people phrase anything like that, just the viral age just changed the way people kind of express themselves. But there's, there's great stuff. There's always going to be great stuff. But we're going to pay attention to the things that are a little bit more hedonistic or, you know, maybe not so positive. But that's just the way people observe things. So. And, and you guys are great. I mean, come on now. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, <laughs> yeah, but we, but but we don't get the recognition that you know we feel we deserve. You know, anything saying? anything can change on any given day. Yeah, I know. That's like my homeboy say, you always one hit away. <laughs> one hit away, and it's just I, I I don't know if I would glorify Soldier Boy for really taking music to social media. Because I really felt like, and this is going to sound really fucked up to say, but I really felt like he took a lot of money out of artists' pockets because when it went to social media, of course, CD sales went away. And then they created these old robbing ass streams, streaming services. You know what I'm saying? So the only way I feel like artists are making money is from shows. You know what I'm saying? They get a little bit of change. I mean, you got to you gotta be a mainstream artist to make money off of streams. And right, I feel right. like that's bullshit because... When you look at uh, how much they actually pay you per stream, right? You'll be like, "You got to be doing this shit for the passion, because you ain't getting paid mm -hmm. shit." Right? You feel what that, I'm saying? So, that's true. But we also, you know, we had we had decades upon decades upon decades where the only way that you ever really had a chance to be heard was if you got signed. Absolutely. And that's not that's a trade-off so yeah there there's a trade-off to it you know you can't right. and and you can build your catalog the entire time you're thinking that maybe something will happen for you and it does happen for you like in your circle of people but i feel like things are going to change a little bit i feel like the age um bracket like the age barrier i kind of i have this feeling that that's just kind of going to dissolve Okay. A little bit. I do. I just, I don't know why, but I do have that feeling. All right. So we're going to take another music break. Uh, I'm, I'm, I done got deep into the conversation. They ain't have my damn song up. But um, what y'all want to hear from the, from the. Uh, hey, I, actually, you you could keep on going with the questions, bro. If You know. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Hey, all right, you know, the, the, the music breaks. I mean, if they want to, if they want to hear nah. the music, they can, they can, there's links there uh, available. There you, go. you know, there you so. go. We can go ahead and keep it rolling. I forgot I got YG up here. YG said, man, fuck all that, bro. <laughs> fuck all that music, man. Hey, they listen to that shit on their own time. I'm going to hit them do this interview. <laughs> I got you, bro. <laughs> so um, uh, explain to the people uh, what Platinum Nirvana is. Now, I know why, um, YG already talked about the Donald Potter, which, you know, that's uh, right. a book. But what, 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 where did the Platinum Nirvana come from? I, I don't even understand that. What's okay? So I'm very calculating, right? I'm very, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little bit of an opportunist, but in a good way, right? Go ahead. So, so basically, when I when I heard his first piece and his second piece, I was like, you know what? This can be entered as a book on tape. There are like a lot of things can happen with this. So I made sure that we were fulfilling all of the requirements not making any missteps so that we can be in consideration for a Grammy one day. I'm not joking. <laughs> no, I, I just don't do shit to do it. I believe you. Yeah. And, and so, um, you know, platinum is the highest level of metal that you can obtain. Right. And, um, and Nirvana is, you know, um, it's a, it's classic Buddhist term. Uh, a lot of times people don't understand that, you know, nirvana is not a state after death. That's kind of what people have been taught. And they're like, you can experience nirvana in your life here in the now. So I'm like, hey, platinum nirvana sounds like the kind of a uh, wonderful life embodiment, right? And it, the project needed to have a name other than just the Dhammapada. 
So I was like, platinum album? <laughs> yeah, I think maybe, you know, with somebody like YJ at the helm, yeah, that's a feasible concept. Most oh, definitely. I, I, I think it, it, it should be platinum, whether it reach it or not, because, man, this album is dope. I used to tell New, like, you know what I'm saying, man, outside of my shit, because, you know, I, we, we men, we got pride. Now, you, you got the hottest goddamn album of the goddamn 2021. Right now, outside of my shit, y'all got the dopest goddamn album out of 2022. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I done listened to this album, I swear to God, about seven times. You know what I'm saying? It's easy for me to do so because it's not long as my damn albums. I'm, I'm, I'm just that an idiot who like to put out so many damn songs. But, uh, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be, though. Sure. You doing a song <laughs> project? Yeah, put it out. Man, that's this this project, man. I I can listen to it. I can go lay in my bed, play the video game, and just listen to that shit, man. That's how dope this fucking project is. Platinum okay. Nirvana. I stand on the proof. It's solid. Okay, a exactly. one, day one, man. Yeah. Really. And I I always like when rappers drop Buddhist references. <laughs> like it's one of my favorite things to hear in music. I'm like, oh, there's Jay Z's Buddhist reference, you know. Oh. No. <laughs> So that's the fun. so that's the real reason why she wrote this. <laughs> no, I, you know, there are a lot of important Buddhists in the music industry. Um, you know, a lot of people maybe don't know this, but um, you know, Tina Turner is a Buddhist. Um, Herbie that. Hancock is a Buddhist. One of the Beastie Boys, Adam Yauk, um, he's passed now. MCA, he was a Buddhist. Um, uh, Rick Rubin, I don't know if he considers himself a Buddhist, but he was involved in the Free Tibet movement. Actually, um, when Jay-Z was making his album, 99 Problems, and he was making it with Rick Rubin, mm -hmm. at the time that they were in the studio, um, Rick Rubin had Tibetan monks in his house, like chanting the whole time. And... Um, so it's it's not you know a very like common religion, but you um, hear a lot of references to it, and people are curious about it. But yeah, it, it I, I feel like it's the kind of project that a lot of people, um, you know, especially like in rap or hip hop, would like it because it it's it deviates so much from, you know, what what is out there, you know. Right. So I I think it could be very easily accepted. And, ju and just to be clear, just to be clear, I'm not a Buddhist. Right. <laughs> uh, I read the book, and and um, I what I do say about it is uh, a lot of what it talks about is in in ways to me a lot more logical uh, than than from my upbringing as a uh, coming up in uh, Christian Christianity. So. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree. Cause you said you said it to me. I, I I agree with you. Go ahead, bro. Go yeah, and but and boss says, uh, didn't you read it? I thought you, I thought I remember you. Uh, said yeah, you, you said I I, I started reading it and and realizing it breaks. It, it, it reminds you of the Bible, right? Um, as far as you know how you should you know treat your body. You know you love your body. <laughs> Like, you know, you love people like you love your body. Right. I might be saying it wrong, but you know what I'm saying. And I was looking at it like, this is almost like the Bible, but it's easier to understand to me. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So that's how I looked at it. Right. But no, I haven't finished the whole thing. I'd be lying if I said that. Right. But, um. That's what's up. So, um. YJ, um. So I know y'all been working on this project for a while. And I was always wondering what. Was y'all gonna ever put it out? And then Nick, I talked to Nick, you knew I was like, yes, about damn time. <laughs> so what 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 brought you to the point like you like, okay, it's good to come out now because I mean you have conversations back, you know, behind the scenes, and um we almost try to perfect the things that we do, but we know there's no such thing as perfection. But I told him earlier, you treat every song that you record and put out with tender love and care. What put you to the point where you was like, it's ready? That's going to have to be this one down below. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be this one down below. She said, it's time. I said, let's go. <laughs> That's what's up. So, That's yeah, that, I mean, it's a simple answer to that one. And the thing about the whole project, when it comes down to it, uh, the the 
the concept of it and everything, it, it almost like when it comes to the actual recording of it, it kind of happened very smoothly because when I get it, say, all right, she sent me a new chapter or whatever. I'm going to get it, but the thing is, I'm going to actually take that and, and, and the, the part that comes, the hardest part to me was actually finding a beat because I wanted the beat to match the energy of whatever the uh, that passage is giving off. Like with Evil, if you notice Evil, and actually the beat switched a few times on Evil, mm-hmm. it, it, the beats actually coincide with uh, the feeling that the passage is given, so that was kind of the hardest part to me, to tell you the truth. But uh, yeah, it's definitely it. It didn't happen overnight. It's it's only what 10, 11 songs, but it's it's some it's a year and a half in the making type of thing. But it, it couldn't have been no other way. It couldn't have been rushed. And I don't rush nothing. That even goes for the the project. The Song I, I'm finishing up right now with Nico B, which will be. Oh, I can't soon. wait to hear that. God, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> which will be coming out and along with the Black Sector Mafia, because oh. the Black Sector Mafia, we spent a whole year on on number two. Like, damn sure did. We damn so, sure did. And number three, it's gonna be the same way. It's gonna end up being another year once yeah. it drops. So yep, yep. Because we the, dropped it last September. Right, so so that's it's the with me it's just quantity over qual. I mean, no, definitely not that quality over qu- quality over quantity. Uh, definitely when it comes to music, because music is is so timeless. It's like imagine Marvin Gaye in the studio trying to rush out sexual healing. It's like why why would he be in there doing that? Like that that's the type of shit I think about. Like why am I even rushing this song? Like what's the rush? Like. So. Yeah, you don't rush things, but you actually do work very fast. And that's, yeah, it, when it comes down to the writing process and recording, that's the fastest part. The mixing down, that, you know, it depends. Because the thing is, if I'm working by myself, I'm, I mix and master as I record. Ooh. So it happens quicker. But like with Black Sector Mafia, uh, I it's a whole, it's a, I hate to say it, but it's a clusterfuck that has to be <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to getting verses from five different people and the order has to be lined up in the space in the beat and, and copy and pasting parts of the beat to put here and there. And he was louder on this part. So or he was quieter on this part. So let me take this part of the beat and put it on this part because it's quiet. Like it's it's a lot that goes on. But whenever with a project like this, it was more simple. I got it. You know, could sit down, listen to it, and just and just vibe out, and then find a beat, and and, and you know, so and, yeah. yeah. And you know, I love everything, but I'm going to tell you what that last cipher that you put out when that came out, and I listened to it, it was like I I think it's one of the best things you've ever done that I've heard because when I heard that, it sounded like you guys had been taken to like the best studio that you could ever get your fucking hands on. Pause, pause, pause. Which side for Because you know he just put out another one. Uh though though the one Three. That, the one that references. <laughs> you know? I, I was gonna say what? Huh, which one are you talking about? Because hey, that, yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah. that other one dope too, but hey that, <laughs> yeah. oh, shit. when I heard that when I was like like my hair just blew back. I was like God, this is why Jay you know what I mean? And I tell you all about the crabs in my city. When I put that cipher out, oh man, they were like, man, damn this shit though. I sent all the screenshots because I just want to let you know, like, this is this is a crab ass city that I live yeah. in. But right. they love that fucking cipher, bro. That's, that <laughs> that thing was on cypher. fire, man. Mm-hmm. It was it was insane. Oh, definitely. But um, I think I went through the majority of my questions. See, uh. Oh, what's your favorite song on the album from both of y'all? What's, what's your favorite song? Well, YJ probably gonna say I ain't got one. <laughs> nah, my my man, I'm trying to think. It's the one I don't even know the name of. It. It's the one where I I was placing Nikki throughout the verse. Like, uh, it's one of the last ones on there. It's one of the last ones on there, man. Run, run into her. I'm gonna uh, put. Okay. I'm gonna, 
pull it up to make sure I'm right. All right. Nigga, what's your favorite? I think I was the most, I might have been the most impressed with Evil because he did, you know, change the beat three times. And I thought that was great. Um, number four has like a special place uh, in my heart for a couple reasons. So may maybe number four, number seven um, is good too, you know, in terms of what I, what I think might be on the top of the list. But yeah, just kind of all of them, right? For me, because like he, he said earlier, you know, that he's not a Buddhist, which, you know, obviously, when I am. And um, and and, and so I, I, I want to point this out to YJ and Boss and kind of everyone who's in the chat. So just give me one second. So everybody talks about karma, right? Everyone's like, oh, they're going to get their karma or this is good karma or whatever. And it's kind of not that well understood but the realm above karma is called the realm of merit so if, if you live your life you know doing as best you can no matter what your circumstances are kind of the idea that you're building up blessings or something like that those don't really stay in the realm of karma they go up to the realm of merit and um you know from the time that i was like 25 i've had to endure <coughs> just a lot of suffering just a lot of incredible suffering and um i'd always did the best that i could with it right i always still tried to be the straightest person i could and 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 not just come to like the emotions that you can have and stuff and i didn't really start to understand what merit was until like about three years ago when i was doing particular study but i view yj as being a blessing that comes from the realm of merit you know what i mean like he's he's able to actualize what part of my dream is and part of what my dream is is to be able to concretely explain to people the simplicity of buddhism it, like if they're suffering or they're dealing or like they're having to deal with you know the technicalities of being in the trenches or or whatever it is, right? Like what a Buddhism could help you, right? What could you easily embrace? But I would never be able to do that. Like that, that desire of mine could never manifest without somebody like him. It, it could never be made even possible. So how in this world did I ever even meet him, okay? Like, how inconceivable is it that life would wind around like that, right? Well, in 2015, when I was, when I finally went into treatment for complex post-traumatic stress disorder, like it was under, it was overwhelming. I, I couldn't even, I could never have imagined I was gonna get better. I just couldn't see it because that's how bad it was. And somehow, like, in my realm of activism, I end up aligning with Tripsy. Like, like that's insane. And so for years, I had this place to go to where people were gathering around, talking about all kinds of issues that, you know, I cared about or had experienced from my past life. Everyone's kind. Everyone's pleasant. That's part of the reason why I ever even got better. I'm not joking. Like when I write my book, you know, when I write the afterwards of my book and I thank everybody who helped me, you know, get better, continue to get better. Like, I don't even know how to thank these people. Like, I really don't. And, you know, then YJ introduces me to everybody in BSM and it's like, it's this whole energy field that comes into my life and makes what isn't right, right. You know, and you could never hope to even, you, you can never even hope to have that experience because you can never really even conceive of it. 
You know what I mean? People talk about manifestation, visualization. I would have never even thought to think these things. That's how far beyond my conception all of this actually is. And so I feel like, you know, I met some of the greatest people I could ever hope to incarnate and experience life with. And and there is a, they're as talented as they are. They're as solid as they are. We all cohesively get along. That's so rare in this world. You know, and honestly, no matter what kind of issues we talk about trying to make better in the world, you can't do anything for anybody unless you have like a healing impulse in you, unless you know how to share, unless you know how to give, unless you know how to create, you can't do anything for anybody. So I just have to say thank you to everybody because the when I met everybody that kind of comes from this circle and is beyond now, even in boss's group, I couldn't have imagined that I was gonna continue to get better. And so I have to thank you for it. Man, that's what's up. That's what's up. I, I, that was that was uh, touching. I'm glad I got my shades on. <laughs> my eyes start sweating and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> say his eyes start sweating. For real, man. Oh, uh, I'm gonna uh, play a song. We're gonna do a Q and A because I know Jizzle, he's a hard working man, so we don't want to hold him up too long. But we are gonna play my goddamn song. That's just what it is, my nigga. So uh, if you got any questions, this is your opportunity. Put them in the chat. And uh, when we come back, we'll do a QA. and a If it ain't no questions, we're going to let my people go. You feel me? So uh, if you got any questions, this is your opportunity right now. So uh, let's check out my favorite. This is Thought. Let's go. Never be the truth, but follow vain desires. They who know truth in truth, and untruth in untruth. Arrive at truth and follow true desires. Yeah, true desires spoken brought to life is not the same as chasing gold. That cycle's old as Midas. Vision tainted by the thirst of fortune. Boosted endorphins temporary. Once they haunt you, go back to distortion. Then the wicked thoughts erupt in droves, lacking the conscious stigmas of the frontal lobe. And each and every day, it's another test. The only question is, will I get an A or get an F? A fool's ignorance can tarnish legions. Furthermore, a fragile mind is second nature once you pledge allegiance. And even the righteous seen the darkest days, we equal. I felt the shame, but the pain is the outcome of evil. He who has cleansed himself from sin is well grounded in all virtues and endowed also with tolerance and truth. The teachings of moderation and abstinence from idle causes, rightfully cautious of the hand that bears down against the vital solace. Nowadays we live fast, slow it down, dharma. The loss of nature, now let me expound. Suffering through the guidelines to obtain nirvana. Elimination, the greed and hatred, it's another saga. A fool follows after vanity, lust and love. Evil doers felt the wrath that fits them like a glove. Talk to him. He who disregards also temperance and truth is unworthy, but he who has cleansed himself from sin is well grounded in all virtues and endowed also with temperance and truth. Truth for Dharma. Yeah, yeah. The thirst of pleasure is self-destruction personified. A wise man doesn't mingle with those who not align. Now I'm a part of verses spoken. Second entry, inspiration from the professor, my role is assembly. In this world, a dishonest man can't be respected. The righteous conscience detects it, get met with harsh rejection. They read the lesson and they start to learn. 
This walk of life is why I'm writing open sight to whom it may concern. Yeah, 26 chapters of the moral precepts. Philosophy, no hypocrisy, verses we should present. Ancient text defined in present time, no lost in substance. The facts remain the same as social justice and abundance. Sing that shit, YJ. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Yeah. I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> hey, when I be singing that shit, bro, I feel like I, I feel like I be feeling like Anthony Hamilton in the booth, bro. I be telling you, I feel like Anthony <laughs> Hamilton out there, motherfucker, bro. I be, I be feeling like I can sing, I, I can really sing, sing. But I, re- I really can't sing, sing. But when I get in that booth and I get to vibing on that shit, I feel like I can really sing. Like, oh shit, this shit sound good. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I, know you, I know what you. I know what you. I know what you. I know you. I know you know. Ah, oh, there you go. I, 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 I know you know. Man, I just feel like I can hold a note. You know, what I'm saying? If, yeah, I feel like if you can hold a note without that's how you shaking, that's, you that's, good. That's how you gotta be able to do, man. Hold that's that how you bitch. just just hold that note, grab hold on, that embrace bitch. the note. Yeah. Right. Don't 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 go outside the line. Hold that bitch <laughs> steady, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, some people yeah. tone deaf. Good though. advice. <laughs> Man, I definitely, definitely appreciate y'all for coming up here, man. I'm just checking the chat for any questions, you know. Um, I, I think a lot of the questions that I asked is shit questions that a lot of people had. Um, yeah, yeah. But Nick will be saying, uh, I just want to say that both of you are amazing artists. I look up to the both of you. Such blessings to be upon such talented legends. Standing ovation. That's what I said. I, Nick that. be, that's my little sister, man. Legends. Y'all are legendary. Appreciate I don't know if y'all caught that. that. But I said I said that at the very beginning of the show. Y'all legendary. And she's very inspiring, you know what I mean? Like to be number two on the charts and just for it to have yeah. happened really organically. And um yeah, she's really, she's really, really yeah. incredible. You're an incredible hey, person. Hey, that one, oh yeah, oh yeah. And that one, I'm telling you, it, it's coming. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh <laughs> yeah. Uh, the one I was thinking, you, you asked what was my favorite one, and I uh, I, oh, yeah. I was listening, so I went with the punishment, and I know that that's probably an uh, unpopular opinion type of thing, but just be, just the fact that she got inserted into the verse for a whole eight bars, I felt like that was my accomplishment right there. <laughs> what you got to think about it? Yours is punishment. Hers is evil. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it ain't no, it ain't none of the fun ones. It's, it's the dark ones. Yeah, <laughs> the dark ones. Man, the whole entire project is dope. Um, April said you are forced to be reckoned with, Professor Cupcake. Uh, Nick will be you. say you're beautiful, Cupcake. Thank you. Um, the rain said YJ. She said she listens to your music all day, but she's not satisfied till she hear a ride out. <laughs> Ride out. And the crazy part about that, I don't even say ride out until I'm done with the mix. So if you hear, me, if if you hear, if you hear me say, if you hear a, shit, a song go off and I don't say ride out, that mean I wasn't done with the mix. Okay, okay. I wasn't really too comfortable with that shit, man. I ain't riding out of that. Day, you know? <laughs> All right, All right, All right. Man, man. Salute, man. Uh, what up, Port City, man? Appreciate you for dropping those links, man. We got our brother Port City in the building, man. Part I gotta do one report too, man. But um, yeah, y'all uh, make sure y'all go check out the Platinum Nirvana Project, the Dama Potter, Nikki. Oh yeah, why just and definitely believe uh the the next uh shit I'm gonna be doing or releasing is gonna be that versus series. Boss you on there, Port. So basically, I think our, our the title gonna be uh Arthur James versus the world. And, uh, and we are the world, goddamn it! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it ain't gonna be too long. It's gonna be like a little EP joint with uh everybody. You know, each each song gonna have a collab on it, and uh definitely port on there. And YJ versus LA, YJ versus New, YJ versus Crucial K, YJ versus Boss. 
So, yeah, yeah. that's uh, got that loaded up. So, yeah, I'm good with that. Most definitely, most definitely, man. Also, we all be ready for the uh, as uh, what uh, vibes call it, the summer anthem. Uh, the just finished the video. Oh yeah, we, I we was you you ain't gonna play it till I thought you was gonna. Play it. Uh, I guess I ain't want to. I, this is y'all, oh, right. man. You it's gotta play it, man. It's grown. How it's gonna be grown folk? To, grown folk talking. We ain't play the grown folk song. But well, God damn it, he ain't got you. Hey, look, you ain't got to fucking pull my goddamn. <laughs> you you gotta, just, just go ahead and slide that in there, man. Let's go, man. Here's the world premiere, man. I wasn't gonna do this, but YJ said go with it. Yeah, man, have a good go time. Ahead. Look at Kuchu K and they're laughing and shit. <laughs> Y'all check it out, man. This is the world premiere. Have a good time. This is I'm a hammer in this.
you you might not like it, but I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. God damn it, I loved it. But uh, there you have it. I wasn't gonna play it. I wasn't gonna play it. So man, man, go ahead, and drop it, man. Shit, <laughs> hey, you know. Yeah, but uh, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Uh. Appreciate that Port City, man. Appreciate it, man. I'm going to ask, man. I love to ask. Can't help it. Yeah, that part. Yeah. But um, any any words you got left before we get up out of here? Uh, Nick, you know I'm going to start with you. Well, I'm in the last round of editing on what will be my first book. So that should be out this year. And um, I can't wait. It's going to be a big change in my life. All right, that's the shortest I've ever heard. The <laughs> final thoughts. <laughs> I'm like, wow. hey, 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 that's what it is. <laughs> All right, just yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. BSM Volume Three. Uh, it's gonna be a movie. It's gonna be a movie, movie. So that's what that's 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 what my focus is right now. Uh, the Arthur James Project. That's on uh, kind of on the back burner. But I'm gonna tell you right now, Port vs. Arthur, the collab album, that's uh that's that's the focus as well. So and that Port vs. Arthur, we we not releasing too much of that. So it's uh it's already about eight deep or seven deep on that one, but uh it, that that's there too. So yeah. Okay. That's all I got to say for real. If you don't click that band camp, then just unsubscribe. Hey, I, I, I wish I could just say shit like that. <laughs> oh, hey, you can buy the album? Fuck it. Don't subscribe to my channel. Yeah, Fuck you it. just unsubscribe. If you're if you not, if you're not, yeah, if you're not fucking with the camp, just unsubscribe. Let me just say <laughs> like that. Yeah, that, I feel you on that, man. I feel you on that. If, if, if people support you like they say they do, then they know what you do. They know it means the world to you. They can't support you. You have no business being here. Point blank. They, they, they be saying five. This shit, my five dollars. Then I put out five dollars, uh, forty tracks for five dollars. And then we don't, <laughs> and don't buy that motherfucker shit. You, you go ahead and unsubscribe right now. For real, <laughs> for ain't like our music trash, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and the Nico B that's coming soon. I already done, you know, that's coming. That's coming soon. Soon she gonna cook up the artwork because you know I ain't shit with the artwork, but she gonna cook up the artwork and it's gonna be out. That's what's up, man. Appreciate you, boss, for letting us grace the platform as usual, man. Definitely much appreciation to you. Much appreciation to everybody in the chat who came through listening to the music. Biggest appreciation to Professor Cupcake, a.k.a. Anna Nikki New, for giving me the inspiration to write all them bars that's on that album. So, what's that? yeah. What's that? Absolutely. All right, well, yeah, this has been uh, another great interview, another great grown folk talk. Um, I'll be doing a, a short, very, very short grown folk talk tomorrow because I just got an announcement I need to make. And um, that's what's up. It is yeah, what it is. I, I'm really excited that this was a grown folks talk, and I got to, I got, I got to get out of answering any grown folk questions. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm happy about that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna save my announcement for tomorrow because I ain't gonna put no damper on this. So. uh I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. This has been a, a great show. Uh, y'all make sure y'all go check out the Dama Potter, man. Platinum Nirvana Project, the Dama Potter. Y'all heard what it was. And there's nothing higher than platinum. But you know what? Uh, Lorraine said heavenly is. So what, that's what we shooting for. <laughs> but I appreciate y'all. We're going to go ahead and get up out of here, man. Y'all have a great night, man. And I'll uh, see y'all tomorrow night. Real quick live. <laughs> Ain't going to be long at all. Y'all be easy. We gone.